Is storage a problem in your shop? If so, then maybe this will help. It's a cabinet underneath the table saw extension wing. This is Bob Jennings from The Woodpile. Come along with me on my wood turning journey as we dream it, think it, sketch it, turn it, sand it, finish it, post it. I used 3 quarter inch birch plywood for the cabinet. What was interesting was the sheets were perfectly flat at the Home Depot store, but when I got them home and after cutting them out in the table saw, they started to warp and walk. I was able to straighten them out with a system of clamps, strombacks, and then steaming the cabinet. It actually worked not too bad. This is not a construct video of the cabinet. I only took a few pictures and video along the way. This cabinet is 35 and a half inches wide, it's 30 inches deep, and it's 32 inches tall. One of the must-haves that I wanted in this cabinet was that it had to incorporate a storage place for the sleds. The drawers are equipped with full extension Richelieu sliders. On the bottom right, I have a removable tray for offcuts and scrap. I've added swivels to the bottom of the cabinet, that way I can pull it out from underneath the extension table and then do my cleanup. This cabinet's been a nice addition to the shop. It has a place for my sled storage, which is always a problem. And then I've got all my table saw accessories right close and nearby to the table saw. Well, that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions about the cabinet, just leave a note in the comments section below. Well, thank you for watching the video and thanks to my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider it. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. It's your support that makes this channel work. So thanks again and we'll see you on the next video.